Are you the girl that as soon as you get a new install, you gotta dye it jet black? Are you the girl who loves a good 1B or a natural brown? I challenge you to step outside of your box and try the chestnut brown for fall. This color is grown, it's sexy, it complements the melanin so good. And I'm gonna show you how I install and style these beautiful curls courtesy of Arabella Hair. If you wanna see how I got the curls so fire, keep on watching. Jumping right into it, here is the star of the show. We are going curly today with this beautiful free part HD lace wig she is a dark brown chestnut color and I love the fact that the nape doesn't have all the extra combs and clips this is what she looks like on and I am loving how well that brown color complements my cocoa melanin skin this is also a look at what the hairline looks like I'm also going to show you how she looks set as a center part now this one comes with options of a 5x5 lace closure wig 13 by 4 lace wig or a 13 by 6 so you definitely have options there. I'm going to start off my customizations by cutting off any excess lace around the ears. This is going to give the wig a nice snug fit. That way it'll fit me from ear to ear perfectly. Here I was deciding what style I was going for. Couldn't really decide at the moment so I decided to start with the hairline and just pull everything back and tweeze out the hairline to make it a lot more like unnatural because I like mine to be pre-plucked which they did a great job at but their pre-pluck was so perfect it was almost too perfect. So I'm going to go in and like make it a little bit more jagged make it a little bit more thin and I think I did a great job in just a few seconds. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace. This is a key step, but you can definitely bond the wig down before you cut the excess lace. I do that sometimes, but sometimes I also like to remove all of the lace first and then work in sections to bond the wig down. I am using an eyebrow razor in this step and you can find it at your beauty supply, your Target, your Walmart. I'll have them in the description box of where I get them on Amazon in bulk. Next, we're going to bond the wig down. I am using the bed head. Um, I believe it's the hard head extra hold hairspray. And as I mentioned, I am working in sections. I'm securing it in the center. And this time I did go in with one layer, let it get tacky, and then go in with a second layer before bonding it down. Now I'm going to go ahead and just tint the lace. And I'm going in generous with my Ruby Kisses foundation. And I'm buffing it in with a nice large kabuki brush. You can go in later and get more detailed with the um, lace tint. But for now, I just wanted to blend my skin so we can kind of see what we're working with. Here I am just going ahead and making some baby hair curly hair for me automatically means baby hair now obviously it's an option and you don't have to but I just feel like curly hair always gives and eats so much more with the the really good really really good baby hair and I am using the edge control from bdecbeauty.com and as you guys can see you can just work it in and take your time to get the nice shape that you like if you find that you have too much hair in your baby hair group you can send some back by just brushing it back and using a little bit of wax for hold or you can tweeze it out even more or you can make it shorter. Whatever suits you, you can definitely do when it comes to your unit. Again, I was feeling the full extra, extra baby hair today. And I think it looks so soft because the hair is such a great quality that it doesn't look too crunchy. I feel like sometimes when the hair is a little bit crunchy and then you do this, it doesn't eat the way it eats when the hair is just a great soft quality and texture. Now that I have the baby hair how I like it, I'm going to go ahead and just do the dynamic duo around the hairline. Once I got to the sideburn section, I did kind of like pull some hair forward. Gotta have a Coke as a bev. I'm going Diet Coke or maybe this is Coke Zero today. Cherry Coke Zero is my favorite at the moment. And I just pulled some hair forward. I did train the hair to go forward by adding a little bit more adhesive. I did not leave those ear tabs on. So we're really working with just hair and no extra lace. I prefer this way because I just don't prefer the extra lace around the ear tab section. Because honestly, when I just want to throw the hair on and go, I like to be able to pull this part behind the ears and go. And those ear tabs just really, when it comes to the day-to-day, -day, be in a way sometimes. Let me just be honest. Again, I'm generous today with the baby hair. I want it long. I want it full. I want it to give that ba ba boom. And next, I'm going to go ahead and just add my melt belt. And this is just going to help to set the hairline while we work on the curls. This one here is so beautiful and the curls are so soft. I'm going to moisturize them because water is definitely the best moisture you can give any hair, including your own natural hair. I love the way this one responds to the water. Um, it was very easy to get it saturated, but of course, it would be a great option to go in and shampoo 
shampoo and condition or at least co-wash the hair this is a way to get the best look for your curls now i'm gonna go in with mousse i don't care what was going on i always feel like mousse is the best way to style your curls here i was thinking i was not going to do the dynamic duo i was trying to just use product to get that um lace parting the way i like it but you'll see in a minute i'm definitely going to still go in and do the dynamic duo i just can't escape it no matter how much i try the dimming brush is key for me to clump those curls and then i went in to do something that we've been doing the girls have been doing lately which is to really go in and use your finger to like finger curl the ends of your um curly deep wave and all kind of like textured and wavy units this is going to dry magical. If you have a diffuser, I highly recommend after this step going in to diffuse. My household was sleep, so I definitely could not. But you'll see how beautiful these look when they set and dry a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and wet the opposite down or the opposite side down mousse it up and dim and brush it and now we're here i did that part off camera and i'm gonna do the same finger curls on that side here i'm kind of just showing you how the top looked it was fine there was nothing wrong with it but it just didn't look finished to me so even though the hair was a little bit damp i still went in and did the dynamic duo because again i figured you're just gonna wet it down and brush it and it's gonna look the same and it just doesn't give to me the way the dynamic duo gives and i mean to each is own if you don't do it you definitely don't have to but i just like it so i gave it a moment to air dry again i prefer to go ahead and diffuse and make it super big but because uh I didn't want to wake anybody up. I just worked with what I could. Um, this top is from Express. It's from last winter. And I'm now I'm going in with my lace tints. You guys already know I love the cream concealer from Ruby Kiss in the parting. And the complimentary powder foundation along the hairline. This one definitely looks like it's coming out of my scalp. The lace is soft and seamless. I love it so much. I picked up this pick from Amazon and honestly I don't even know how to pick my hair I think I'm doing it like I'm holding it wrong but you can see with just what little I did it did add a little bit of volume to it I wanted it to be to, I wanted it to be nice and big and for those ends and those curls to pop here is the packaging of course Arabella hair sends this beautiful dust bag with all of the goodies in it you get your wig caps you also get a cheetah print melt belt. You get a pair of lashes, super cute. And then you get this purple edge brush. And then you also get a little pearl clip, super cute to accessorize. And that's pretty much it. You can find this one in the description box. I absolutely love her. She's definitely going to be a perfect addition for the next coming seasons. You guys know me. I'm a California girl, so I'm going to rock her all year around. But she definitely gives fall vibes for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.